For a full copy of today's recipe, check us out on Facebook at Poppy's Cucina, on YouTube under the community tab, or stay tuned at the end of the video because I'll have it posted there. All right, so what amazing thing are we making today? <gasps> today we're making something so unbelievably delicious, so ridiculously easy, <gasps> so fun to make and eat. Look at them, they're so cute. So, right, today we're making blueberry limoncello ricotta puffs. <gasps> Look at them. Little bite size of heaven. Oh, we love these. Love. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our puff pastry. So I have two sheets of puff pastry that I thawed in the fridge overnight. Very important to do that. You don't make sure you don't wanna force thaw your puff pastry. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut each of the sheets into 24 squares. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half. I know see, they're gonna look a little small, but it's okay. Puff pastry is very stretchy. Oops. Then we're going to cut it in half and half again. So what you want to end up with, like I said, is 24 squares, but you want them to be about two and a half by two and a half inches wide. So once we finish cutting, we're going to roll them out to the size we need. Just like that. And here I have my mini muffin tin that I sprayed thoroughly with a nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to put it right in. You want to make sure the edges are overhanging. See? See, because if we try this side, it's too small. See, much too small. So we need them bigger. All right, so we're going to keep doing this until we get this all filled up. Just like that. And now we're going to add our blueberries. So you're going to add just about a tablespoon of blueberries. Eh, maybe a little bit less. Like two teaspoons of blueberries to each of the cups. Right. You can use frozen if you want. Um, but, you know, if you have some fresh ones, especially when they're really good. I got these from, they're from Chili. They're amazing. And they were pretty reasonably priced too. All right, so we're gonna fill this up and then we're gonna get started on our filling. So in this large bowl, I have one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of whole milk ricotta, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one large egg, two tea, uh, sorry, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of limoncello, along with the zest of one lemon. Now we're just gonna mix this up till it's all nice, smooth, and creamy. Just like that. And now we're gonna add just about one and a half teaspoons of the ricotta mixture right on top of the blueberries. Oh, so much flavor between the limoncello, the lemon zest. The ricotta's gonna make it nice and creamy. Oh, and then you have the blueberries. Oh. Can you just imagine what this is going to taste like? It's going to be heaven! All right, so let's finish filling these up. Just like that. Now it's ready for the oven. So into a preheated 350 degree oven, they're going to go for about 20, 25 minutes. You're going to see the uh, puff pastry is going to be beautifully golden brown. It's going to poof up. But more importantly, the filling will be cooked. It'll have a little bit of color onto it. But you know what? Always do the toothpick trick. Stick a toothpick in it. If it comes out wet, it's not ready. If it comes out dry, it's good. Because you don't want to eat your raw egg. You really don't. <laughs> so that's why we're actually cooking it at 350 degrees because you really want to give the um, the filling time to cook. All right, but into the oven they're going to go. Oh, I can't wait. So I just pulled these out of the oven. It took about 27 minutes. Look at them. Look at them. They look so good. <gasps> so we're going to allow these to cool in the pan for about 15, 20 minutes. Then we're going to pop them out, let them cool a little bit more, and then give them a try. Oh, I can't wait. <gasps> Yum. Bon appetito. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Imagine a, the best blueberry lemon cheesecake you've ever had and put it like in a really buttery, crispy crust. That's exactly what this is. <gasps> they're phenomenal. Oh, I don't know why I, make, I don't make these every day because they're so good and they're so easy. You have to try this recipe. And if you do, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks! Mmm. Oh, wait! But I'm ready for a drink. Yeah.
right, so for today's electric shock teeny, yeah, we're gonna start with two ounces of vodka. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of limoncello. And we're gonna do about three quarters of an ounce of blue curacao. Then one ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then depending how sweet you like it, anywhere from half an ounce to an ounce of simple syrup. All right, so we give this a good shaky, shaky, and we pour. Let's see, let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is shocking. Such a natural color. <laughs> Look at that, perfect! Still got it. Time to give it a try. Yum. Salute. Oh wow, that's good. <laughs> Tastes like lemonade. A little citrusy, like an orangey lemonade. Well, this is really good. I can never tell from that color. And surprise fright, there's no vodka burn, which is kind of scary because you saw me put the vodka in there. <laughs> there's plenty. So crazy. Oh, you got to try this drink. If you do, let us know. If you try those amazing blueberry limoncello ricotta puffs, let us know that too. They're so good. So good. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Love you guys. Cheers.